Hey everyone, what's up? It's Amber Pro here, and as you've seen at the very beginning of this video, you'll be learning today how to create awesome, beautiful looking animated water in replacement of the water that you see uh, here. So you will need the GIMP or equivalent. I highly recommend that you use the GIMP uh, during this because it's free and it's how I'm going to be doing things and you won't get confused as much. So to start off with, let's go ahead and enable single window mode as you can see here um, by going to windows and clicking single window mode. Next we're going to open our tile sets. We're going to do outside A1. A1 steak sauce. No. Alright, so then what we're going to do is you're going to hold control and scroll to use a zoom and if you're, um, if you're not, um, if you don't, okay, if you're not in, blah, blah, blah. if you're using a laptop or a touchpad, hold control and just like do the two finger scroll thing. Now we're going to select this little tool here. It is a color, it is the color selector tool. We're going to click and as you can see it, sele it selects some color. Now we're going to hold shift and keep on clicking every color that's surrounded in a box except for the edges here. We kind of want this to look animated. Now we're gonna select the square tool over here. We're gonna we're gonna hold control, left control, and we're gonna drag. It doesn't matter how, where, as long as you can just drag a square across the whole thing. We can rescale it, equal it up to about here, and we're gonna do the same thing again, but this time. Remember, make sure you're holding control and align it like so. And then press delete on your keyboard. Re-export it. Uh, oops, just just exported as outside A1. I, for some reason, decided to rename it. Don't don't rename it. <laughs> so as you can see, when we refresh the page, or uh, when we refresh this thing, there are or there is a well, there is no um, no background. Now what you want to do is open a new file and make it 256 by 256. Click the paint tool, select pattern fill. We're gonna select the sky tile. Fill the sky in. We're going to create a new layer, like so. Then we're going to fill in with the rocks, create a new layer, like so. Then we're going to do, let's just do the regular water texture here. Now for the water texture, select multiply. For the rock texture, we're going to do grain merge. Right click on one of the layers and we're going to click merge visible layers. And then we're going to click on clip to uh, image if necessary, but it's probably not going to be necessary. Right click, go to filters, map, make seamless. So now this is a seamless water texture. We're going to reduce the opacity to 50. Then we're going to hold control and press E and we're going to export this into our pictures folder. We're going to call it parallax water PNG all capitals for this case. Next, you want to make sure you have a copy of my UPP Parallax Pro plugin. Link in the description if you don't already have it. So we're going to do is we're going to do an add plugin command um, event and we're going to make it a parallel process. And inside the plugin command, you want to do add map parallax, the ID which is 0, x position 0, y position 0, the scrolling, I'm going to do 1 for the X and one for the Y and we're gonna have it follow the view so one one again and now we're going to put what we named it which was parallax water don't put the dot PNG part and then zero because there's not gonna be a blend type we're gonna hit OK we're gonna copy that and paste it so we have a second one this time we're gonna type one here for the first the ID is gonna be one and then the scrolling is going to be negative one for X and Y. Um, if, you, if you're too confused, then I have the events in the, uh, the description as well uh, that you can just copy and paste. For the X position, uh, X position we're going to put 45, Y position 45 as well. Now, again, make sure it's a parallel process. And then you can do your race event if you want. Now, if we start the game, you'll get to see this beautiful 3D looking animated water. As you can see but they're going kind of opposite directions and it kind of looks a little bit weird so one way we can fix that is to play around with the scrolling so instead of the y position going negative one let's have the water flow in the same direction let's so that way the x and y are i mean both of them are flowing downward so that looks pretty good still but still you have this weird little rocky texture if this bothers you then all you have to do is a simple edit of your image 
I think it was flowing a little bit too fast, so I'm going to do 0 0.05 for the other Y scrolling as well. So let's see how it looks. Anyways, regardless of however many mistakes I make during this, you know that the, the end result is the same, and now you know how to basically get it done. And there you go, you have some beautiful animated water for your game. And if you want to add a third layer, you can do so, and it can things can get interesting. So finally, after playing around with it, and playing around with the image, and uh, the colors and everything, I finally got something I like. And in the description below, you can see everything that I have here. You can get the tile set that I deleted, and you can also get the plugin as well as the water graphic. But there you go, that is how you make beautiful animated water for your games. So let's go ahead and see how this looks when we add like a little bridge to it. Alright, so there you go guys, that is how you make the animated water. Um, as you can see, it looks extremely nice, really, 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 really cool here. Um, if you add this, if you add some overlays with this, this can become like a really beautiful looking map. Anyways, guys, this has been the Umper Pro, and I'll see you all later. Just look in the description if you want to copy the exact same settings. And if you like this, don't forget to share it and leave a like. And if you subscribe, be sure to click the bell so you know when I upload. So see you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.